I mean, there is a lot of bullshit. I think, I guess broadly, it's good that wellness is on the agenda and people are talking about it. And I think we probably have Gen Z to thank for that in a way. Um, But there's a lot of bullshit within that. And for me, what bullshit looks like in this industry is... People, whoever they might be, influencers, fit influencers, who who will come at you and preach that their way is the only way, and that to me is like the antithesis of true wellness. Because for me, you know, every single person's body and mind is different, and so that's I guess how I'm coming at it with Elevate. You know, like it's it's unique in the sense that there's a lot of one-on-one and there's a lot of tailoring to your particular needs and your particular body type through, you know, the fitness side, through the functional medicine side. And, you know, I, and I have this conversation every time I run a retreat, you know, with my chefs or with new venues, I explain, you know, I'm not interested in, in an all vegan menu and I'm not interested in hiring someone to come and facilitate who's just going to have everyone do a load of burpees for an hour. Like that's just not helpful. And it's not, it's not conducive to longevity. So, you know, there's that approach. And then there's the fact that, I mean, how do you establish yourself as a credible business in this field? I mean, the facilitators that I work with are truly, truly the creme de la creme. And I feel like I can say that with conviction because I have been a client of all of them for years. And I am, as you can potentially tell, very type A, pretty skeptical, hard to impress. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of trainers over the years. I've done a lot of health stuff over the years. And these people who I've brought on this journey with me are the best in the business. Um, so yeah, I mean, my trainer, Scott, He's the head of movement for Chelsea FC women's team. You know, he had a lot to do with the Lionesses win. Yeah. Um, He's incredible. He's honestly got me through so many niggles and injuries that every other practitioner under the sun couldn't touch. And within a month of lifting weights with him in the right way for my body, I was out of pain. Um, The same goes for Lara, my functional medicine practitioner. You know, and I've had a myriad of health concerns and like to be frank i'm talking ibs recurrent utis skin issues hormonal issues like and she was the first person to explain to me that all of those are linked you know like when you go to your gp with that kind of thing they're just trying to put you in a box Mm -hmm. here's a cream for that here's some Mm -hmm. antibiotics for that she was the first person who introduced me to this concept of functional medicine and genuinely healed me of these things that i had since childhood that i thought i would never recover from so like the proof is in the pudding so mm-hmm. to speak and the same goes for you know leo and lisa lisa was my life coach um the nlp neuro-linguistic programming work that i did with her that i kind of alluded to earlier is literally up I think why I'm here now, like she helped me uncover what my values were, what my limiting beliefs were. She does a lot of that work with us on retreat. And then Leo, who does like multidisciplinary mindfulness stuff, breath work, cold water stuff, like because of him, I'm in my ice bath every morning on my terrace and it has changed the game for me. But you know, and then the same goes for like when people come on my retreats, it's taking on a bit of a life of its own now because people come away and they're like, this has been transformational. And you know, the connections people make or the decisions that people make within their own lives. And then they come back to me, you know, a year later and they're like, because of you, I was able to quit the job I hate. I was able to make these changes in my life. And I think that's, you know, the proof is in the pudding there in the testimonials. So... 